What up? What up? What up? Hitting y'all with that two piece today. Bangleton bedded up. The GN, as you can see, the GN is gone. Don't trip. I'll be right back on that 442. But y'all remember this Prezian. I done this Prezian a few years ago. Narrowed the back, anti roll, uh, double adjustable upper and lower control arms. Uh, this skirt on this side, a little pin. Uh, I'm gonna fix it. Uh, do double's trailer in it. Saw the skirt flapping and he wasn't sure, so he undid the skirt, put it in the car. And good thing he did because the little pin came off the back of the skirt. So I'm gonna fix that, but here's why it's here. What is this? 86 Pontiac Prezian. Boom. Everybody's seen this one from Indiana. Clean ass car. 26 inch Ford Giottos. 7 inch lip. This car is a stock suspension in the front. It might have some knuckles or something up in there. I think I might have even put knuckles in there. But anyway, so I got the parts for it already. So I'm putting QA1 upper and lower control arms. Viking. Uh, A225 shock and uh, I went with a 550 front spring bearing plate inner outer tie rods and QA1 tie rod sl adjust adjustment sleeves so basically taking it up in there pulling the control arms off throwing the springs out throwing the control arms out throwing the shocks out all that and bolting or I'll give the frame a quick little cleaning and bolt everything back up and do the alignment. So today is what Thursday. Tomorrow I'll have it all tore apart, cleaned up, painted. Boom! Like I said, I went and picked up the parts today from Winter Circle. I had ordered them the other day. Boom! Dude has been waiting for me. Well, you can see that skirt sticking out on this side too, so I'll fix that one too. But anyways. Dude's been waiting for me on this car again. A lot of people have been waiting. A lot of BS has been going on, but now I'm on track. I'm depending on me, not depending on nobody else. So, dude's been waiting for me to do the front end. He ended up having somebody else do the front brakes on the front. And the left side, something keeps coming loose on the bracket or something. And the bolt keeps scratching the rotor. So as I take the front end apart, I'm gonna look at that. It might just need to be Loctited, you know. It's probably something little that needs to be fixed. Look at But the squat is staying obviously the same, and the height in the front is staying. But y'all know this car, man, this car is so clean inside and out. Got the matching steering wheel. I've had it on the channel before. Probably the first time I called my YouTube channel. A little dirty on the floor, but anyways, this car is clean as shit. All original motor, probably a 305. Paint, beautiful. It's the same color as my Grand Prix. I got rid of my Grand Prix. Oh, I'm still owed money on my Grand Prix. Huh. But all right, y'all. Another quick little video for you for today. Two piece, hot and spicy. For today, what is it, uh, February 10th, 2022, pretty easy and getting the front suspension changed out. Quick job, in and out. I have to do the in and outs. That's how I make my money. Getting it in on the Pontiac Parisian. You see them four Giottos? You see that seven inch lip? Them coilovers, I mean, yeah, it's a little dirty underneath there, but coilovers, anti-roll, double adjustables. Oh, a couple years ago, but here we are, got the front off. This tire, look at this. This was on the right front, right guys? So look which way the tire is going, the arrows. So somebody had this tire on the wrong way because obviously the other one is the right way. But this tire being on backwards and whatever's going on alignment wise, but this tire has got broken belts or something there. This tire is jacked up. So that was probably a lot of his alignment problem. But anyways. Got a little bank roll up in here, a little bedded up. <laughs> Wanna see a little Bernie? <laughs> About to do a little Bernie. Let's do a little Bernie. Do a little Bernie. Yeah. The wife over here, she acting like she knows what she's doing. Look at her phone. 
She don't know shit. <laughs> but yeah, so we're getting all this off. Gonna get it all cleaned up. The kid trying to make a couple dollars. He ain't got nothing to spend it on, but he's trying to make a couple dollars. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting all this off. We're gonna clean the frame up. Uh, I got some other paint I'm gonna throw on it, but I'm gonna have to tape off the line, tape it off, and I don't wanna break the system, but tape it off right here, boom, tape off the caliper, put some plastic over it, clean them up. Couple of these studs, as you can see right here, they they weren't locked tight again. They came, you know, so I'll fix all that. But I'm trying to make it, you know, in and out. Gotta do these in and out, y'all. This car is so beautiful. Out of all the cars, like I said, this one right here is one of my top fives that I want. I love the way it's set up. Got that, uh, is that tear drill? Boom. Got them tear badges on the side right there too. But yes, we are in here getting it in. Uh, like I was saying about the parts. But we got a set of the older style uh, lower control arms. So these still got the plate that bolts in the center, which is fine. Older style lowers, new style upper. Got the tie rod sleeves right here, 2A1. So, tie rod sleeves, adjustment sleeves, that good shit. Like I said, I'm not hiding nothing. 550 Viking Spring, 10 RP 550. There's a good set. I go in the front with 26, uh, 20, <laughs> 26s. And then the shock is A225. Boom. You got to have this little spacing piece to go in the bottom of the shark to change the hole from a five inch hole to a half inch hole. So, but yeah, here's what we're doing, putting that on. And then I'm gonna custom alignment, you know, do my custom alignment on there. So that's where I degree the spindle back. Let me go over here, a little fast. On this side, show you what I mean. So, the spindle in the car sit straight up and down however the, the degree is when you lean them forward they make the wheels lean it's just the wrong way to do it a custom alignment you degree them back when you degree them back you give them a sport steering the tire drives into the ground gets rid of all the steering play not all the steering play but most of the gm steering play so yeah i'll do my custom alignment on it this frame's gonna look obviously 100 percent better than that well, we on the prezian, y'all. We on the prezian. This tire, as you can see, the difference. See what I'm saying? This tire is face forward, boom, directional. And, you know, the rim's not directional, but the tire is. The skirt, like I said, I'm gonna push this. You can see how it's loose. I'm gonna get those to fit better. And right after this prezian, we're gonna be on. 442, 100% to get that done. I'm gonna get Donzell's Cutlass right on this lift, right after we're done with the pre get it up there, maybe get the kid to start taking the front end out of that. But I'm gonna knock this out, and I should be kind of getting up to schedule. I gotta get the caprice down, get it all cleaned off, put some plastic on that. I was informed that that was a brand new top on there. And I didn't know that, so I'm gonna get it all cleaned off. I bought some wax and all that shit today, so that way you can clean the car off, put some leather stuff on the top, and then put some plastic on it. But all right, y'all. Here it is Saturday. What's the date today? 12. Saturday the 12th, February 2022. Prezian, Prezian. 26 is, seven inch lid. 
got that front frame all cleaned up and painted up um this one didn't come out as clean as i wanted it to it's got a little you know little whatever you want to call it the paint started to crack a little bit but that's that cheap shit because i haven't been able to get my good shit but it's coming all this stuff going on with the truck drivers and all these shipping containers and all that stuff i gotta got a big ass order of paint but it ain't here yet so i had to use the cheaper stuff took a lot more cans with that shit but clean it all up with the grinder do my little cut to the frame boom we'll be able to get the coil over and all that shit in there my son's putting the bushings and the control arms over there so like i said this is the older style and older control arm so it takes the plate you gotta bolt that plate in there and push this the sleeves in here full size comes with two different sets of sleeves you got a small bolt and a big bolt this car ended up being what the big bolt this car ended up being a big bolt for the front control arm there's the stock bullshit um, somebody did put some big ass springs in it somebody did put newer ball joints and all that stuff on it but there was no point it was a waste of money as you see the upper control arm right there boom Brand new ball joint, brand new ball joint, stuff like that. But when you buy the aftermarket control arms, you get all the new style ball joints that last longer, all that. So it was a waste of money to buy all that when you have that ugly ass control arm on your badass car with your badass wheels. Uh, the spindles were cut and drilled and tapped. Like I said, the driver's one, I got to fix a little bit. But somebody else did it. But yeah, cleaned up, boom, getting ready to, well, we're working on it right now to get it back together. This side, you can see, came out way better. You know, there's not too many uh, scratches in it. But that's hitting it with a 80 grit, uh, or 40 grit on the grinder, and then the drill with a bristle head on it, stuff like that. And then scuff pad, scuff the wheel well, blow everything off with the air. Yeah, so we're gonna get this crazy in, put back together, and try to get it aligned, which I do the custom alignments. So we working on it, and maybe I'll have another video again today for you all. And I'll show you with everything on there the Viking cord movers, the QA1 control arms, and I'll run through how I shim it who we should be and stuff like that so i'll let y'all know on that alignment i'm gonna clean this floor up right now my kids putting that stuff together together and yeah we're in here we be in here for a few hours trying to get this thing buttoned up i know tomorrow's the super bowl but he might want to come pick it up if we can get it close enough to be being done and i just come in tomorrow and button it up but i'll probably get you all another video okay go all that new suspension on the front qa1s set the back down a half inch more than what it was adjusting ride quality right now i got the front compression right now at like eight and rebound at 11. And the back i think is like nine and 12. nine the compression 12 on rebound but feels a little bouncy going up down the street but we're gonna figure that out <laughs> cleaned her up a little bit with some wax inside but wheels are a little dirty had to get the skirts fitted back on there so i'm gonna adjust the valving on the front i'm gonna go a little tighter first to see if that's gonna make this car better i only put a 550 in it so having a 550 in it would be a better ride normally i'll use a 650 on me but a controlled shock you know allows the shock to do the work instead of the spring so if you're softer on the shock of the shock if the shock is allowed to move very easy in and out then you're riding on spring and the spring pressure and spring could be stiff now the, the tighter you go with the shock the better the, you know the tighter you go the more you're on shock and velvet.
anything for measurements. Let's see what it looks like. Got a little bedded up in there. She got full turn. I cut the little spots off the frame where the lower control arm goes so the tires don't hit where they were hidden before. that gangsta sag on there see the, the parking lot's real bumpy right there but and it's got plenty of uh plenty of travel suspension travel so i'm gonna tighten up them shocks a little more i don't know how much weight he's got in a trunk for sounds but man that bitch is sagging let's see let me blow this up a little bit i don't even know how to do that okay Used to be able to do it though. Yeah. Like I said, it's got the original 305 in it. And I do believe it is an 86. But yeah, it's uh Sunday the 13th. Came in here, finished up the alignment. trunk lid bounces a little bit so but all right i'm gonna make these adjustments and uh we can go for the man look at that Woo! that baby looks good i love that color but yeah i'm gonna tighten up the compression and rebound a little bit we're gonna take it for another drive down the street and see what's going on but all right y'all bangor tim better up customs what we're doing we out